So, with that being said, let's get started. So I have my, like I said, five cups of flour. I have my powder milk that I'm stirring in, which is, which was about, well, it was about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. Then I'm doing my eggs, which with the egg powder, I use about <clears throat> maybe 10, maybe 10 tablespoons of egg powder. Then I have my sugar, which is two thirds of a cup. And I have my bacon powder, which is about, well, two thirds of a cup. And I have my, um, egg, I mean, my butter powder. So I'm gonna pre-mix all of this. Might save some out so I can show you what it would do. I guess I will. But I'm mixing it all together, and after I mix it, I'm gonna scoop some to the side so I can kind of give you a a, a preview on what it would look like. There you have it. That's pre-made, and I keep it in this jar, mason jar, for my son. Because as I said, he loves pancakes, and I don't have to worry about him, uh, you know, eating unhealthy things because I know what I put in it. And when I'm, and I'm gonna show you in a minute when I put take some to the side, pull some to the side, what I'm gonna make it on this griddle here. Well, so. So now you have it. I have my pre-mixed pancake mix already mixed up for my children. Now, with that being said, I pull two cups of the mixture aside. And as you can see, it's fluffy and ready to go. And I'm making a mess. So, I'm going to add my water. Now, you add as much water as you like. I kind of, I like mine on a thin side, but my son, oh, he like his on the thick side. So I guess I'm going to have to go by what I feel like today. And that's on the thin side. So, you stir it up really well. Now, if you like, you can add some cinnamon into this, and that would be awesome. I love making cinnamon pancakes also. My children love it. Or you can use wheat flour, or whichever one that kind of floats your boat. So, as you can see, the consistency is nice. And I used about a cup of water to two cups of of mixture. Now I'm gonna move this to the side. I found this coconut spray, which is cooking. And I just spray it on here lightly. And I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? So I'm going with that today. So I'm just coating it lightly. Then I'm gonna use my one third of a cup of uh measuring tool and actually layer put the pancake mix on the, on the griddle but I won't get nowhere if I keep trying to clean up my mess as I go let's turn this sucker up so we can really get, get it cranking now I'm going to not ready. Put it on too soon. But here, there we go. My son like his, like big whoppers. But I don't have to fix it that way today. He can finish off where I left off. But just to give you a quick video, this is what 
I decided to come up with. And this recipe is very delicious. I think you will love it. As you can see, I made at least four good sized pancakes out of this so far. And I still have more batter to go. But look how nice and beautiful they look. And ooh, if you can smell them, I make you want to eat the whole entire uh, bowl of pancake mix. Or pancakes. And when they're done. So, they are. What? Cooking. And we just gotta be patient. So maybe I'll just. Oh, let me just check it. They're looking good. Although, I should have put more oil on the pan. But oh my god, you can smell the butter. Mm, mm, mm. Making me hungry already. I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my goodness. So I hope you try this recipe because I love it. My family loves it. And it's an old timey recipe. So I will be posting a link. Not much of a link, but the recipe on this screen so you'll be able to have the recipe as if you were making just maybe one cup or two cups uh, and not such a big cup like I did remember I used five cups so whatever recipe I give you you take that and add extra onto it to make a, a double batch or triple batch or a gigantous batch sometime I make eight nine ten cups and just measure it on down ten equal everything 10 10 times and that's what you'll get so i hope you love it enjoy it peace love and joy thank you bye, -bye. so i just had to come back and let you see the finished product and how it looks and tastes as well as me, I didn't want to serve. I decided to put a little jelly to it. Homemade jelly, which I've made. So, as you can see, this is the pancakes. Putting a little butter on it. Which, don't, it doesn't need much because I've already added butter powder. But for those who want extra butter, you can put that on there. And then, I'm going to try to get this open oh nice although let me get us some I don't like putting dirty things and stuff and this is oh. this is how I like mine So I suppose I have to actually do a taste test for you. Although I'm not sure if you can see that nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Yeah. What's the saying? Make you want to slap your mama. It's so good. That's it.